for a little bit of the aftermath, a little bit of Tink yelling at you guys of, what are you crazy, you want to chop these guys up. So, yeah. We're getting paid. <laughs> not yet, we're not. As soon as you free up those need arms. To have, need to have a little conversation with the doc, I know. <laughs> Um, would you like to look around the room a little more? Yeah. I'll look around the room with my eyes of wondering perception here. Mm. Okay. Uh, in the back of the room, kind of charred a little bit from the flashbang, you're going to notice a, a series of pictures and a little bit of string between all the pictures. Some of the pictures have big X's on them. Some of the pictures are of baggies of drugs. Some of them are of um, kind of the symbols of the gangs around the area. And in the center, there is a, uh, a, a crude drawing of what you would uh, you would take to be the uh, the battle on the barge arena. Okay. Uh so is it I don't know maybe I'm misunderstanding what it is um I mean is you it you know like when looking at it and watching it trying to pre-scale it think of it uh, you know how sometimes when you watch like uh, cop shows they have those boards where they kind of piece everything together or yeah. conspiracy theorists they have that board where they, they're like this is linked to this and this is linked to this yeah. he has one of those Connecting lots of the things that make the battle on the barge go together and kind of explain a few things. Like, he has. Why they like, keep winning? A little bit. He, he puts a lot of forethought into it. Like, um, the, the symbol for the Rusty Blades, right? That's going to have like the little baggie full of, of something like a picture of somebody carrying the bag uh, that you were going to give him that has like the little string connected to the rusty blades. And um, there's a picture of what looks like a robot connected to the, uh, the diamond plunderers. Okay. So they're deckers or droners riggers. There's a picture of, um, some kind of hazy fog thing and a man um something hazy um with a leash and a man in a like a a cult hood for the uh the roaring horrors and and he's just sitting there and next to them is just like a crown connected to his his gang and there's just a big x over the um Uh, the rusty blades. I am explaining this very poorly. No, we get it because he's he, basically he's mapping what has happened with these groups, and currently he believes the rusty blades are out of it, which we are we are taking the spot of the rusty blades. Yeah. So you're not explaining it poorly at all. It's just okay. a matter of there, it's a lot to take in. At least I don't believe he's I just jumped into plot here. I just took plot and I just rained that son of a bitch. And I'm just like, we're having plot now. Um, um, so hey now guys. It's, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to, uh, I, mean, I have to divide my attention real quick. I just got a text from one of my employees who said that we're, that Trump is threatening to send troops to Mexico. <laughs> So hold on one second. Can like, you please uh, smack him for me? <laughs> hold on. So I apologize, but like there's dude, uh, stuff today in the office has been crazy. People think that we're going to war. And so give me one second. I will be back. Uh, so I apologize. Okay. So back to plot. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was just awkward. So we have do we does he have any uh pictures of people? Um or is it just like drawings and designs? Uh, he's uh, well um for the uh 
the rusty blades he has a picture of um something saw ripsaw i think his name was and yeah. that he's crossed out um the robot and the the man with the uh the leash they're both circled um Um, there's also one for the, um, there is a, a man that has, um, very distinctly, um, syringe like cyber hand that's kind of circled for the, um, the roaring horror sharp. Now the sharp doctors or whatever I call. Oh them. yeah. Sharp doctors. Okay. Um, which, um, drawing from the conclusions that you, you might have might be the um contestants. Yeah, so we only have like stuff. two contestants left. Uh they would have the robot guy. They would have the 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 three sets of gangs that you have not talked about or seen. Yeah, the mad the magic guys, the decker guys and the uh doctor guys. Yeah. Um also on the wall um, is just a bunch of check mar- like tick marks, like Roman numerals, like in the back corner. What are these? Go go go! Check those out. Those are. I mean, it's just a bunch of Roman numerals in the back corner. They look okay. like they span back quite a long time. Um. Like decades of just it's a wall covered in them. Huh. And yet I have no idea what those are for. No. Um, to be fair, I just say that because they are relevant to to meta plot, but not necessarily the plot that you are in at the moment. Yeah. But you are in the moment and this is the moment to talk about them. Okay, well like I said, so. place that call to that doctor. Uh, do what? Yeah, Winky Blink. Um, hi. 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 Hey. What, so, what, what do you need? What do you need? Well, it's what I can really offer you. Um, what do you mean? Seeing your, your previous excitation at experiments and whatnot, I have a couple yeah. of um, things that might you might be interested in taking a look at um, cyberware people. I mean, you know, people that are cyberware out that are no longer going to be moving around so much. And I was wondering if you're interested in coming by and grabbing these things for a little bit of, uh, if you could uh, pass us a little bit of money, we might be able to relieve these things to you. Otherwise I, they're just going to go to waste. I, mm, 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 mm. I, I, I might be able to sell some scrap. That might be a thing I could do. Well, I'll why come don't have a you look. come on by? Yeah, I'll give him the address. Uh, and he'll hang up and presumably be on his way with some sort of vehicle. Yep. It'll probably take him a little bit. So who else? Did we uh, did we search all the bodies or just the uh, just hands? I think the only one that was searched was uh, Goldenrod Boy there. Yeah, um, you're going to search them. You're going to find their um, their stuff. Yeah, because you're going to have time. You're going to look over them. They're going to have like the normal stuff that people have on them. You know, like a comm link uh, and stuff like that. Um, You're not going to find a whole hell of a lot, though. You know, they had their guns. They had some ammo. Not... uh, not too much going on there. It, it's very obvious they were not going to pay you. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. It's it's almost as if they were expecting you to show up and just hand them some stuff, and then they could just walk away with not paying people and a shitload of murder drug, or what they assume is a shitload of murder drug. So maybe it was a setup on their end as well. Yeah, they were. Well, they were setting us up either way we look at it. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. Is there anything else we need to look for? Greg, that you can think of? Well, we I want to get these images off the wall so that we can review them after we can... Uh, well, we can go to uh, the Battle on the Barge. Um, can we snap some pictures of them and just take that with us? I'd rather just take them, take them all off the wall. Make it easy. Hi, right, I'm back. Sorry. No problem. Jurgen, anything else you were wanting to do with this stuff? Uh, Winky Blink's on his way, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. And there's nothing else of value anywhere in the room? Um, no, but at the back corner of the room, because this is going to be relevant maybe to you, there is a um, sort of a, a mishmash of a lot of Roman numerals on the, the, the wall that kind of, they look like they go back quite a long time. Oh. And they they continue up to now. Huh. So this is definitely they've I mean they've had control of this place ever since. For a while, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And Goldfist's definitely dead, huh? Yeah. No, he's um He's pretty crispy. Okay. Okay. You know. A ghoul delicacy. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, Winky Blink's on his way. Time passes. Cool. For Winky Blink. Because, uh, obviously, not much he can do. In the meantime, I assume you guys take pictures of the wall of... How much time passes? Uh, say 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and then uh, Winky Blink's going to show up. You guys take all the pictures of the, the conspiracy wall in the back. Kind of take that all up, put it in your pockets and whatnot. Uh, and Winky Blink's going to show up and Winky's going to like, show up outside and then uh, try to like wave one of you down to find you. We'll, Who wants I'll to go, talk to him? I'll go down there and whichever. And he's, I talked to him earlier, so yeah, he's gonna look at you and he's gonna be like, "Where is the uh, experiments?" <laughs> well, I'll point out the one body that got vehicular murderized, and then I'll point up to that room that we're at. Uh, and Winky Blink's gonna um, look at the body, then look at you. Then look at the room, then look at you, and look back at the body, and he's going to go, um, this looks like it could be very interesting. Um, You'll you have a wide into my selection. Van? Well, let's talk about money. How much can you give us for this? Oh, there's a hooker, too. <laughs> I don't think she has any cyberware, though. I know, but she might Fair be enough. very good for biological warfare samples. That's true. He said experiments. <laughs> Um, uh, he'll, he'll like, um, put a finger up to you, to you. Like when you're like, how much is this going to cost? He's going to be like, let me have a look at the, uh, the materials. And he's going to kind of just like walk past you and skitter up the stairs and go into the room and kind of disappear into there for a minute or two and come back down. And he's going to be like, this seems very promising. The, the things that I have seen here, um, I might be able to get you... I don't you... need details about what you're going to do with that. <laughs> um, Twenty-five thousand. I think is reasonable for the things that you have shown me here. You know what? I think that's a very reasonable offer. And yeah, I'll help him load him into his truck so he can go after we get paid. Yeah, he'll 
cred stick. Yeah, I figured. You. Um, and he's just going to skitter away to fence some body parts. <laughs> hey, whatever he does, it doesn't matter to me because boys and girls, we have money. Yeah. Lots of money. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, would anyone like to do anything at this point? Or can we just fade to black for, for tonight? Yeah, I'm fine with fade to black. I'm fine with fade to black. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that's a... Uh, for the amount of work you put into that, that's uh, probably about six karma a piece. Just because that went over three days, like three sessions. Um, and you have the 25,000 new yen to split amongst yourselves as you will. For bookkeeping. Sweet. Hooray, money. Yeah. So, as it stands right now, that'll be like, what, 5,000 a pop? Yeah. Sounds it. Yep. I'll take it. Yes, I will take that. Oh, yeah, because Terra. That's right. Yep, Terra. Yep. It's out there somewhere. Unconscious, hopefully. In a bathtub. Cuddling, cuddling with a loaf of bread. As only Tara can do. And oh, if I have anything to say about it, there's no maybe about it. He is. <laughs> I will find a way. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, would remind a wonderful round of roses and thorns. Round of applause. Clap, clap. It's very well. If that's cool with people. Yeah. Fine, that sounds fine, fine, fine with me. Somebody start. It's you, because you were the first one in the line. No, I have to be last. Okay, fine. He's the he's the he's the the proctoring DM, if you will. Yeah, that's very true. Um, I'll go. Th- I'll go. I'll go then, because we'll. I'll just do it like the roll twenty table thing. Um, Jurgen, you jumped on plot. You saw the plot. You jumped on the plot. Thank you for jumping on the plot. No problem. I hope you enjoy the plot that I I, I, I got you to jump on. Yeah, but, no, uh, that was good. Yeah. Um. Um, I honestly, the only thing I didn't really like about that was just, um, combat is still clunky and, and kind of weird. That's not like a, it's just how it is, you know, I feel like cause I tried playing three characters at once. I kind of dragged it down a little bit and, uh, the only thing I, re- I didn't really like about this run was of my own design. Uh, Jurgen? Alright, so things that I enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed being able to get a little bit, you know, get some ideas, you know, into my background. You know, I, I enjoyed being able to uh, have that incorporated into the game. Uh, thorns. The only thorn that I could possibly suggest would be to um, just to spend just a tiny, tiny, a um, little bit more time uh, before the game, Liam. Uh, just uh, just having a general idea of here's this guy. This is what he has. Um, so that way, when we get to you know stuff like combat, you're not scrambling to look up what a shotgun does or what a what this guy might have as far as his character's concept is concerned. Yeah. So if nothing else, I, I just just run it straight out of you know just grab the stat block for the NPCs right out of the core rule book and just say, I, hey, this guy's a lieutenant, and so this is what he's got, and then you don't even have to think about it. I I really just tried to. Um... I, I I really just did like twelve uh, dice for everybody, and then I just had my list of guns, 
Yeah. But it was a little, it was a little, yeah. I mean, and then obviously, I mean, on the same thing for that though, would be for me is not, you know, making sure that I've got my, what I'm doing, you know, it, like, you know, whether I need to start writing it down on a sticky note or something like before my turn. So that way I, there's no more, no, no backseats, no backtrack. Yeah. So. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, Greg? Um, pluses and minuses, roses and thorns. Uh, roses. I think that you are progressing as a DM from previous one. You had more of an idea of what you wanted us or of what you wanted to happen. It wasn't a, oh no, what am I going to do next? You know, you were, you're, you're, you're doing, you're doing good on that. Um, you know, uh, thorns. What didn't I really like? Uh, yeah, overall, I'd have to say just making sure that we, we as a whole get better with combat with, with, okay. Yeah, we do have to roll this. Yes, we do have to roll that. Uh, we have to add up the value for Fletchetti or for the other, or does it have a choke on it or, you know, make sure we get, we're getting all of our math done, but that's going to come, I'm sure with time and understanding of the game system. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Ike. Yeah, I had. I, I like the <clears throat> variety of situations we found ourselves in. It just some some situations we could talk our way out of, or Grog could intimidate his way out of, or the gunfights that we did have were like the one on the highway. It was pretty interesting. And I, I, you know, I had fun. I, <laughs> that's my, I guess that's just that's my good summary. Uh, I don't, I don't know about negatives, uh, mostly because I was just focused on on wrapping my head around some of the rules and keeping track of everything at once. Um, would have liked. I didn't get to show off my skills as much as I wanted to, but that wasn't really anybody's. That was just the way that the run went. So I, I I don't want to focus on any negatives right now. If I think of anything, maybe I'll come back. Yeah, thanks. So I'm gonna start off with uh, with a thorn. the The betrayal run is a very dangerous and uh, curious thing to, to pull off because it's the kind of thing that like surprise you weren't paranoid enough throughout the entire thing but mm-hmm. you did do a good job in dropping hints at that end part to like hey Jurgen you're pretty sure you know this guy and to, to get him in that right motion and then it's like alright well let's let's sneak around and, it, and now looking back on it with the um, the strangeness and the battle of the the barge thing, and what was going on there, it was like, all right, hold on. Now that makes a lot more sense, knowing that this guy is crazy conspiracy nut, tracking things, and and cheating for years probably to win this. Um, I will say we should probably all get a point of notoriety for straight up organ legging. It's something to consider that uh, I'll leave that one up to you but it is the kind of thing that's like uh, murder is one thing but chopping a dude up for spare parts is another um, but other than that I, I think very well done I am uh, I am looking forward to the the horrible things I'm going to put you guys through next week so that'll be interesting do you have any any questions or anything that you wanna you wanna ask specifically about? Um, no. Excellent. That that makes everything way easier for everybody. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, so here's a question that I might have for you there, Vamps. Sure. 
say in the not so distant future or even in this in this particular role or game we went through the battle of the barge we won over you know we we asserted our dominance over the four gangs or five gangs total because the rusty knives are really supposedly working with us um in this instance how would you handle um like the i guess the pay um uh, them paying tribute to us how would you handle that um, or would you let an individual group actually get so far as to being the shadow figure figureheads of these gangs i there would be something i would talk to you guys about and see what you wanted to do and how much um hands-on you want it to be because the more hands-on you want to be the more problems it's going to cause you like if you want to just be like all right we made a deal with these guys we're going to cut you in and get you you know um let them take say 80 percent, and you're only going to take a small cut you know i would probably just give you a small amount of uh bonus money just per month like it'll a reimbursement on lifestyle to to the group, um, because if you gotta remember, like doses of drugs are cheap. You know, you can go buy some bliss for like ten bucks. So over time, they could sell a whole bunch, and you know, maybe they are skimming on you because you don't actually know how much they're selling, or maybe something else. But if you want to, like hands on all the time you're gonna have lots of problems because now like the game has shifted focus away from being all about criminals doing criminal stuff to criminals running a small business so you'll have to go out and maybe go out and recruit some guys to to start working for you to to sell the drugs yourself or maybe to kind of establish a better foothold because the other gang is going to look at you and be like yo they're like five guys well, it's you and me. We're going to team up. We're going to take these five guys out. And that becomes a lot more of the focus of the story if that's the story that you guys are interested in telling. It would also result in more money and more, more money, more problems, as they say. Okay. That's curious. Thank you. Yeah. It is definitely something that I had not considered when we got to the... Uh, that part of the realm, and you're like, yo, we could just win and get free money. I was like, I don't know if I would have gone for that, but I like that moxie. <laughs> so. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would have been interesting. So. Um. But if nobody has anything else, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the call and go to bed. Yeah, it's pretty Sounds late. Good. Excellent. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. It has it been fun. a pleasure. You're it has be been. A stranger. I yes, will don't try be a my absolute best. Hey, man, good luck out there. Thank you very much. Yes. Australia right. is a dangerous place. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everything there Thanks. wants to kill you. I... Yep. No, nothing, nothing is Ugh. dangerous anymore. He is now Drop Bear. That's right. <laughs> I am he now the is drop the bear. danger. He is the danger. <laughs> All right, guys. I will do my absolute best to keep in touch. If not, like, w while I'm gone, I'll try to check in periodically, at least on uh, either Shadow Walking or on the Shadow Run subreddit. And if you guys keep posting your runs, I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll listen to them. So, okay. Sweet. Cool, man. All right. Awesome. All right, but you guys all have a good night. Yeah, all right. everyone have a good one. Thanks, guys. Later, guys. <laughs>